tasting session, okay? My bosses have just left a vertical tasting of the wines of Atsuta from 2005 up until 2009, finishing up with a 1986 Sutta, okay? So uh, we're going to be doing an amazing tasting today, and I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but I really wanted to show you how the tasting is done, and I think this is the perfect scenario. But I got to be quick, because I got my more people coming, and if my bosses catch me, I'm dead. Okay, people, so in today's lesson, as we said, we're going to do a vertical tasting, okay? Vertical tasting consists of tasting wines from the same property, but different years, okay? So, what would we need when you're at home? White background, obviously you don't have this beautiful white table underneath. All you need is a white napkin or white cloth underneath and a nice big glass. Why? To be able to do the first thing we're going to do, which is see the color. So we're going to start with our 2009, okay? What we can see, what we're going to look for, the first thing is the color of the wine. We're going to look at the aura of the wine. And there's a range of colors that we need to follow. Four different colors. When the wine is at its youngest, it's going to be deep purple. Then, as it ages, it turns violet, Bordeaux, ruby. When it reaches the midpoint of its life, it's red. And then from those reds, it starts turning red brickish, right until it reaches orangey at the end of its life. So what do we have here? Beautiful purplish tones. Okay, very deep, very concentrated, very uniform color, which is indicating also quite a bit of structure, but on the purple side. A definite beautiful young wine that we're trying here. Next thing, we go to the nose. First nosing, we give it a good swirl to release all those aromas, and we go ahead and do nosing number two. Try to identify whatever aromas and flavors we can. If you can't, no need to worry. We go straight to the next step, which is drinking. spit, you may be asking me, well, reason number one, I've got a big old camera watching on me. But fact is that when we spit, when we spit, we get a bigger impression, more aromas. What I've just tried is absolutely fantastic. 2009, one of the best vintages here in years. Okay, dark fruit, um, you very pungent uh, raspberry and black black currant. Uh, you get very very fine tannins. You know you can feel. The, that the tannins are there, but they're, they're very fine, very thin, not at all aggressive. The astringency is very smooth, beautiful mid-body light goes down easily and still young. Okay, so the potential is enormous, okay? Now, let's go for the 2008. Look at the color. We already see very slight difference, okay? They're starting to turn into those violet turns, violet tones, okay, but still on the purple, still on the deep, very concentrated. Mmm, nothing to do with the aromas, okay? Let's give it a good swirl. When the molecules of oxygen mix and blend in with the wine, they release all the aromas, okay? Uh, nothing to do, you see. That's, that's what's interesting, that's the beauty about this. Uh, red fruit, okay? I get much, much more strawberry in this. Uh, not too much not too much oak, okay, more, a bit more oaky on the, on the, on the own nine, but you have, to, you have to think also that oaky and woody aspects are aspects that come in wine with age, okay. When the wine is young, it's going to be fruity, uh, passionate, alive, you know, it's going to be aggressive, tannic, astringent, acid ages, it smoothens down, it gets lighter, all those woody aspects come out, all those complexity of leather, tobacco coats, you know, all those things, all those flavors come out as the tannins relax, okay? A bit more aggressive tannins, okay? I believe 2008 was quite a, a late vintage. The tannins are a little bit more aggressive, uh, but it's still, we're still talking about an excellent year. Perhaps not at the level of 09, but still above uh, the average. Um, be beautiful wine in general, you know. Uh, the astringency is subtle, the finish is long, beautiful finish. Perhaps uh, 
not as complex as the Onai, but still on those red fruits, you know, which is very nice having that difference.
in general. Try and wind that. Um, it's a bit disappointing, <laughs> to be honest. 1986, wow, I was expecting something superb. Sharp. Woody to the term that it's it's gone over woody, you know, that woodiness is almost damp. It's a, it's a musty sensation that's not completely pleasant, uh, in my opinion. A wine that's gone too far, Santa Maria wines should live between 20 and 25 years, if they're a good one. 86 was meant to be good, in my opinion, already gone. Oh well, at least uh, it's good that we did the experiment, it's good that um, we checked out the whole thing. People, I hope you enjoyed today's tasting. I am sorry I rushed the shit out of this tasting, but I got people coming behind me. So, please keep on posted if you want to learn more about wine and if you want to do it the cowboy way.